Hello, everyone, and welcome to this course. It's part of our hardware series. And this is a class on getting started with running Kali on the Raspberry Pi. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I just want to start by telling you what we're going to cover in this course. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to acquire some hardware in order to run Kali. And so we'll have a little brief discussion on which models of the Pi you should get and which models you should avoid. We'll also talk about some accessories that you'll probably want for your Raspberry Pi. And then we'll get into wireless adapters and what are some of the best options depending on what it is that you're trying to do. Then we'll walk you through how do you install Kali. You know, it's going to start with a download of Kali, uh, which then has to be installed to an SD card using another computer. And then we'll show you how you can configure Kali so you can do some fun stuff with it. From there, we're going to move on to the bulk of the class where we're going to show you how to actually use Kali. And we'll start by setting up the Wi-Fi and showing you how to connect to various networks, how you can do some recognizance with Kali, how you can connect it to a monitor so that you can display things a little bit easier and in a way you're probably more accustomed to. And we'll show you how you can run things in the background. Now, this might not be familiar to you if you're not a big Linux user. And if you don't do things on the command line a lot. We'll also show you how you can use certain things like screen and also giving things a no hub in order to allow you to run things across a connection and to do it very easily. And we will cover some of the basic attacks that you might want to try with a Kali system running on your Raspberry Pi. So that's what this class is going to be about, and we'll get started soon.